what's happening. This week is pretty exciting because another box has come to me courtesy of PB. Well, this box isn't so big and not too heavy. Let's have a look inside. Got my unboxing knife. Wow, just look at this. It's a very neat to you device. It's a PV Digitool MX16. Yeah. What's that? Well, I just looked it up and it's a digital audio processor. It's like the baby brother of their neon processors. So let's take a closer look. On the front, I've got a lovely backlit display, a control wheel. There's a mute switch for each audio channel. There's audio metering so I can see what each signal is up to. And here's the USB for connecting to your PC for setting it up. Let's have a look at the back. We've got eight analog inputs and eight analog outputs, AES digital input, GPIO connections and ethernet control, and two RS-485 connections so you can connect up to 16 remote controls to it. Oh yeah. That could look something like this. So this device is designed for less demanding audio projects. It's very quick and simple to set up. You could use it in clubs, bars, restaurants, houses of worship, but that doesn't mean it's not powerful. OMG, it's even 96K. With quality like that, you can also use it as a serious loudspeaker management solution. It's got high quality converters that match the high end solution used for line array systems. Let's have a look at this software. All your inputs are on the left with gain, phantom power, and a range of input processing. We've got an equalizer, compressor, delay, gate, auto mixer, more than enough for a typical and not so typical audio system. Then we've got the matrix. So we can route any input to any output. That looks pretty straightforward, especially with the neat addition of overlaid lines that show where each cross point is coming from and going to. And then there's the output processing. Crossover, equalizer, compressor, delay, and a limiter. There are different remotes for source or level controls, and you can individually enable them so that you could let private parties have their own control. Or not! It has a really neat signal generator that lets me send tone or noise to inputs or outputs to help test and set up my system. It sure has a lot of features for an inexpensive and unassuming gray box. If this one isn't man enough for you, it does have a big brother with twice as many connections or a live version with XLR plugs for you rental and gigging types out there. Oof. Let's get this back in the box so I can appreciate where it came from. Next week, I'm going to test the Duo Lux Petty Spa. Clean your hamster and your feet.